Hey everybody, this is Barry with Knitting for Love, and it's been a while since I've made a video, but I wanted to share one with you now. I'm going to be producing more videos um, in the future, uh, hopefully weekly, but you know, if time permits, busy, busy, busy. Um, this today video is going to show you how to do a perfect square, which is this is a miter square and this is what we're going to go through today and you can see if you look at it knitting very closely you can see that the stitches go this way and they come to the center and then they go this way so and you can do this with any number of stitches that are even I wouldn't suggest doing it with an odd number of stitches but any number of even stitches you can do this with to make a perfect square so what you need is going to be a pair of scissors, some knitting needles, some yarn, and some stitch markers. So let's get started. So I'm going to make a smaller one just for video purposes. And so what I'm going to need is I'm going to pull out one of these little circular rings for stitch markers. And I'm going to pull out one of the ones that looks like a little clothespin. Um, and we're going to cast on our yarn. So set those aside for now. <clears throat> and I'm going to do a long tail cast on of about 10 stitches so this will be very quick Okay, so what you're going to do, make sure your yarn has enough slack for you to knit with so your ball doesn't roll all over the place. What you're going to do is your first row, we're going to do, it's a gar, um, this is the garter stitch. So basically you're knitting on both front and back. We're going to knit to the halfway point. So So you have five stitches on one and one. And we're going to place our stitch marker. And then we're going to continue knitting the rest of the row. And then once we get to the end of the row, we're going to turn our work. My knitting is way too tight this morning. I don't know why. But it could be just the needles. I don't really um, like these. These are knitter prides, double pointed needles. And they just feel strange to me. Um, they're okay. They're really nice needles. It's just I, I'm also working with acrylic yarn, which I'm normally not working with acrylic yarn. But then you're going to knit back across. So it's like you're going to set up row and then you're going to knit until you're not going to knit all the way across. You're going to knit to the two stitches before the stitch marker. <coughs> and then you're going to knit these two together. And yep, my knitting is way too tight. up a little and then you slip the stitch 
the stitch marker and then you're going to do a slip slip knit so you're going to slip the stitches to knit slip this stitch to knit insert your needle back in and then knit the two stitches together and this is what's going to cause the design that's in the middle and you're decreasing <coughs> And what I like to do when I finish knitting across this row, this is that is my decrease row. I'm going to place this stitch marker, the one that's a close pin, on this side of the work. This is a reminder for me that when I start the row on the stitch marker side, I know that. I need to decrease. So in this next row, you're just going to <clears throat> knit all the way across. Slip the marker and knit across. Now again, <clears throat> I'm at the side. My throat is very dry. It's in the morning. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I'm not sick or anything. It's just I'm hoarse. <clears throat> You're going to knit. So this is my stitch marker side. You're going to knit until two stitches before the stitch marker. This is just I'm making a little one of these. I'm going to make a big one. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> I'm going to knit these two together. Slip the stitch marker. We're going to go slip, slip, and knit together. Like so. And then we're going to knit across. It's a two row repeat. So you're going to do a decrease row and then a straight knit row. So this is my straight knit row now. And you can again, you can do this with any number of stitches. And it makes it nice little square that you can sew together and I'm actually making a sweater out of this swatch um, and I have several of them sewn together already so as you can tell it's starting to form a little point here so this is my decrease row so I'm going to knit until the two stitches before the stitch marker knit two together Slip the marker, slip, slip, knit. Knit two together. Knit the last stitch. And while you're working with bigger um, boxes, or squares that you're making, you may want to constantly keep track of making sure you have the right number of stitch numbers, stitches on your needles as you do on the right hand side and the left hand side of the stitch marker. If you have an uneven amount, it means that you forgot to do either a knit two together or a slip slip knit. So we're at our, at our last stitches and we're down to four. So we need to actually knit these two together. remove our stick marker because we don't need it on there anymore and we're going to slip slip knit these last two and then we're going to turn and we're going to knit these two together there's no once you get down to four stitches there's no second row you're going to constantly decrease that way you don't have a weird looking square. And then you're going to end your and you 
just going to pull it through. If I can get it through there. And then you weave in your ends and you're done. And then you can sew it. So you see our stitches came down this way, got to the center, and then start going across. Hope you like this video. Um, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if there's any stitches in the comment field that you want to see that I have not done. I know there's, there's, there's dozens, if not hundreds of stitches I have not done a, a video for. But let me know what stitch you're having a difficult time with or you would like to see demonstrate it um, and maybe I can break it down easier to do that stitch um, again happy knitting happy happy knitting